Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my August favorites. These are products I've been loving in the month of August. And I know that some of you are confused. I always post my favorites videos either on the very last day of the month or on the first of the following month, depending on what day that lands. The video that I wanted to post on Monday, I didn't get a chance to film, so I have to post that video on Wednesday. And I didn't wanna leave you guys hanging without a video on Monday, so I am filming my favorites video a couple days early. So I'm just gonna jump into the products. My first favorite has to be my little baby right here. This is the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. I recently teamed up with Makeup Geek and I helped create this highlight palette. This is the box it comes in. I didn't get a chance to show you guys this box when I made that announcement video, so I just wanted to show it to you guys. I think it's so pretty. It is a sleeve, so the highlight just slips right out, the highlight palette. And then it says like Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette on the back and then it has the names of the highlights. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I am completely, completely in love with this. I'm actually wearing this on my face right now. I first started off with the shade Starlight here in the middle. It's a very pearly pinky shade. I had that on the tops of my cheekbones, but then after I put on this orange lipstick, I wanted my highlight to be a little bit more golden. So I just topped it off with Night Light. I love the way that these two highlight shades look mixed together. I am so happy that you guys are loving the palette as much as I am. You guys have just been so sweet on social media, especially since a lot of people complained that the shades were just too dark. So many of you guys were so supportive about that, saying that you really love the shade selection, so thank you so much. I love that this palette works for a lot of skin tones. I actually posted a picture on Instagram the other day with my friend Zari. I'll post it right here. My friend Gabby did Zari's makeup and she was actually wearing the deep shade in the palette. This color is called Sunlight and it's a really pretty bronzy gold and on her skin tone it looked so beautiful. But yeah, definitely the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette has been a favorite this month. I even took the shade Sunlight and I added some of it on the center of my lips to kind of give a little bit of a metallic gold finish to the orange lipstick and I think it looks pretty cool. I will have the link to the palette listed down below in case you are interested. So my next favorite is actually the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. I was kind of going back and forth with this product because when I first tried this out in the video, I kind of mentioned that I didn't think it was worth the money because it is a pretty pricey foundation. But the more I wear it, the more I realize that I do think it's worth the money. I just really, truly do love this. And actually, when I filmed that video, a lot of you guys were saying that stick foundations don't typically have as much product as liquid foundations. Because in the video, I was like, what? 0.25 ounces? This is garbage. Foundation is always one ounce. But my other stick foundation doesn't have one ounce either. It's actually 0.44 ounces. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. This is actually my holy grail stick foundation. I think it's amazing. This does come with more product, but it still isn't a whole ounce. Stick foundations, unfortunately, come with less product, so you might wanna skip on them for that reason, but this one just has such nice coverage and it feels so amazing on the skin that I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that it is worth the money even though it's, 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 that's expensive. That's expensive. But it's so beautiful. It's the foundation I'm wearing on my skin right now and I've actually been wearing my makeup for a few hours. It gives you great coverage without being cakey, without being heavy. It's not a completely matte finish, but it's not dewy either. It's like the perfect in between. What wins me over is just the feeling. It feels like I'm not wearing foundation. I have mine in the shade Warm Ivory and I have been using this foundation nonstop. I took it with me to Los Angeles. This is the foundation I wore to my Makeup Geek launch dinner. And I know that it came with like a specific brush. I personally don't think you need to buy the brush with the foundation. There are literally like thousands of other brushes you can use with this. My favorite way to apply this foundation is actually with this Tarte brush that has no name. The only downside is that you get a little bit of product and it is a pricey foundation so that totally sucks but my next favorite is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. I love this new formula. I think it is better than the original and it's honestly the contour I have been using all month. It's the perfect undertone. Like it's cool enough to contour but it doesn't leave like a gray stripe on your face. The formula is really buttery and smooth. So easy to blend and I actually really really love this shade as well. It does a really nice job of brightening the under eye. I just think this duo is awesome and if you haven't checked this out definitely do so because it's only a few dollars and you can get this at Walgreens. Wet n Wild has a different shade with like a darker bronzer and with like a yellow highlight but I personally prefer Dutsi de Leche. 
I have two blush favorites this month. I've actually really been dabbling into blush in August. The two blushes I'm going to share with you are literally like nude shades. But still, they're beautiful and I recommend them. So recently, whenever I'm like, okay, I have to put my makeup on and I need to put on a blush that's literally going to last all day, this is the blush I go for. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Sensual. The Amazonian Clay Blushes from Tarte are some of the best blushes on the market in my opinion because they really last forever on the cheeks and sensual is actually one of their newer colors a lot of their blushes are like peaches and pinks and kind of brighter shades like that but they released more and it's so exciting and out of all of their newer ones sensual is definitely my favorite I also really, really, really love Risqué though. This blush goes with everything. I love goes with everything kind of blushes. It can go with a cool tone look. It can go with a warm tone look. These kinds of blushes are just essential. It looks so soft on the cheeks, not too bold, but it still shows up. Oh, I just, I love this color. My other blush favorite is actually a duo by e.l.f. And this is the Matte Blush Duo in the shade Soft and Subtle. And it's so funny because while I was looking at this earlier today, these two blushes kind of look like sensual but combined. Doesn't sensual look like it could be the love child of these two blushes? Anyway, this Soft and Subtle Blush Duo is so great. I mainly use these two colors together. This is just a little bit too light for me. This doesn't really show up on my skin if I use it alone. But mixed with this color, it's literally perfection. I do wear this one all the time on its own, but when I want a little bit more of a warmer blush, something a little bit peachier, I will mix it in with this and it looks so beautiful. This is the blush combination I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I mixed both of the colors. I really love the formula of this. It doesn't last as long as the Tarte blush, but this is so, so inexpensive, so it's definitely worth it. So this next product should have definitely been in my Ride or Die makeup video. The Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drop in the shade Sunkissed has literally become my favorite liquid bronzer of all time. And I do have a few that I love. Like, I love the Bare Minerals one, but this trumps those. These are pretty pricey, but a little goes such a long way. You don't really need a lot with this. I know that everyone keeps raving about like the highlights, which for good reason, they're so beautiful, but I feel like the bronzer shades are not getting enough love and I don't know why. The color is so nice. It's not too warm. It actually has a really nice neutral undertone. It blends out so nicely. It never looks spotty or blotchy or muddy at all. Like every time I wear this bronzer, my skin just looks naturally tanned. Not like if I added bronzer, like if it's naturally that sun-kissed. Okay, so let's talk about some lip products. The Wet n Wild Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade How Fleek Is Your Love has been my favorite red liquid lipstick since I've discovered it. It is so bold and beautiful. Also, I love the name How Fleek Is Your Love. That is so cute. I will say that a few of their other matte liquid lipsticks are a little bit splotchy on the lips. Like the darker shades definitely look patchy when you're applying them. Like you have to go in with a few layers. I don't have that problem with this one. This one is not patchy whatsoever. It goes on so smooth. The formula is kind of like a typical liquid lipstick. It's a little bit drying, but it's not too bad and it actually lasts a really long time on my lips. My next lip favorite is actually the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Fairy Floss. This is one of their sheer formulas. This is the perfect everyday throw in your purse nude lip gloss. Buxom's White Russian will always be the best nude lip gloss in my opinion, but I've never found an affordable alternative that I like as much as that. It looks so nice layered on top of any nude lip liner, on top of any nude lipstick. It's just so pretty. I love it. I have been wearing this all the time. This looks awesome on top of Aquarius. If you've been looking for the perfect sheer non-sticky nudie pink lip gloss, this is the one for you. I will say because it is isn't sticky, it doesn't last as long, but I have no problem reapplying this a hundred times a day. Next up, we have these Butter London Glazin Eye Glosses. They don't have the actual name on the packaging, so I had to look that up. These things are unreal, and I know they're pricey. They're $24 each, which is crazy to pay that much for like an eyeshadow, but they are unlike anything I've ever used. I have a tutorial using the shade Frosted, which is this one right here. They're kind of like a gel consistency. Really, really weird formula, but it's 
amazing. It looks so glossy and metallic on your eyes. They have a few different colors and I think that they are incredible. I like to apply these with my finger. I feel like it applies better that way. Seriously, so pretty. Just check one out. Maybe buy one color that you know you'll use all the time and then test it out that way, but ugh. I love these, I think they are so good. Okay, so we're almost done. I wanna give a huge shout out to the Orly Pacific Coast Highway Collection. These are only four of the colors. The collection has a couple more shades. I bought all of them on Amazon and I am so impressed with these colors. I recently tried out the Neon Collection by OPI and I was not impressed with them. They were pretty sheer and kind of hard to work with. I also didn't love the Essie Neon Nail Polishes either. They were good, but they weren't amazing. These are amazing. They don't need a white nail polish underneath, which that doesn't really bother me, but if I don't have to use it, that's always a plus. This color right here is called Road Trippin', and if you are into neon yellow highlighter nails, you need this in your life. It's very similar to Glow Stick by Orly, but I I think it's even better than glow stick. They just, they did it right. They hit it out of the park. I haven't tried all of them on my nails, but they're just so bold and beautiful without struggling with a million coats. Super, super impressed. I had to give them a shout out. And I should have worn them on my nails for this video today, but I am wearing a navy blue nail polish instead. This is actually OPI's You're So Euro. It's like a perfect navy blue. I love this nail polish as well. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were products I've really, really been loving in the month of August. Leave me a comment down below what your favorite product this month was and maybe I will check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, but they're... The bronzer shades are not getting enough love. Enough love. Did you guys hear that? Enough love. Wow. Wow.